So if somebody is diagnosed with cancer, or even if they're being investigated for cancer, they phone us directly and then we organise the transport. So the next thing they hear is a driver will ring them and organise to come to their house, pick them up, bring them to their appointment and bring them home again. Officially, we're a transport service. Very much logistics, practical, but in reality, that person is on a cancer journey. So we have to support the person and be kind, you know? As a driver, you get, I suppose the word is satisfaction. You're taking patients up to hospital who are seriously ill and wait on for them. And when, when you bring them home, you, you feel you have a good, very good deed done for the day. I always said when I had free time that I would love to do something like this, you know, and um, I can honestly say I probably get more out of it than I give. You know, you do have some where the patient is clearly very unwell, but it's amazing how resilient and stoic an awful lot of the patients are. It can be difficult, but most of the time not. I wondered in the beginning, do you ask somebody how they are? What do you say to them? But no, if, it just happens. It's very positive, actually, which you wouldn't think it would be. I actually find when they're dealing with kind of a comparative stranger, they might they just need someone to listen some days. Like, sometimes they might just want to stop for a cup of tea somewhere. Dealing with cancer obviously has the medical challenges, but it definitely, in County Cork, has transport challenges. People are up to two hours away from the hospital. Um, so our drivers tend to represent the communities. So they might be retired, they might not be, but they're from all different backgrounds. Every family I think have been affected by cancer in one way or another and um, when the word cancer is mentioned people do put in that extra effort. They know when they hit, hit the dreaded cancer that you know that they have a big a battle and a big battle on their hands too I suppose. You know you know it's coming home once that person's got out of your car you all you, you look at your mirror and say thanks for God that I was able to do that and you're only waiting for a phone call from, from Helen or from Cancer Connect to do, to do the next one. So we had something like six and a half thousand journeys last year. So we're just gradually getting bigger. The drivers are coming in as we get busier and there's an increased demand from passengers. Maybe inside we're panicking a small bit because we have no secure funding. But other than that, we certainly have the commitment from the communities and we have the buy-in and we have the support. So we'll go as long as we have to. In my 70s now, early 70s, but I hope as long as I get a driving license and have my health, I'll do it.